Thank you. What's your expectation as to how fast the Senate should move on this? Some people think Friday night, you want to keep the markets calm. Obviously, the deadline is Monday. How long of the weekend do you think is reasonable to give people their say before this has to get done over the weekend or Friday? I can tell you what I hope happens is that those who have amendments, if given votes, will yield back time so that we can uh, finish this uh, Thursday or Friday and soothe the country and soothe the markets. Your, your, your colleague, Rand Paul, says it's unreasonable to try to make a dent in the federal deficit. If you're only looking at non-defense discretionary, you need to look at the mandatory programs, Social Security, Medicare. You've said in the past that big things happen under divided government. Do you think you'll be able to bring the Democrats or force the Democrats to the table on those biggest drivers, the debt, Social Security, and Medicare, any time in the foreseeable future? Well, that's a better question to uh, address, Senator Paul. It's been challenging over the years uh, to get both sides to look at the very large picture. But, as I said earlier, in this two-year period, we've gone from spending $2.7 trillion to talking about cutting $1.5 trillion over the next few years and in adopting at least versions of other Republican uh, priorities, all of which have been outlined here. So it would, at least we're going in a different direction. Mr. Leader, Mr. Leader, Mr. Leader. Mr. Leader. Mr. Leader. Mr. Leader. Defense spending level that does not keep up yeah. the pace of inflation. Do you share those concerns? <clears throat> Speaker, negotiate a better deal. Yeah, I think that's uh, the, the worst part of the deal. Um, is the defense buildup, which we began in December, uh, peters out and is only up slightly, but more than domestic. So I, I don't think it's as good as I would like, but if you look at the totality of the agreement, I think it should be supported, and our defense needs will still be there. In fact, if you consider what we did in December and add to it what this bill would do, that's a 9.7% 9, 9 increase, at least heading in the right direction. Mr. Leader, Mr. Leader, Mr. Leader. 